So we just had Thanksgiving this past weekend here in Canada. I know that many of you still have Thanksgiving to look forward to in November. However, I was finally inspired. We have had the warmest weather here and so our leaves weren't actually changing color for Thanksgiving. I think it just kind of started, the cusp of it was on Monday that they started to change color. And today I was out for a walk and I was just like, oh my gosh, the colors are so vibrant and beautiful. Although it is kind of sad once they fall on the ground, that means winter here and cold winters here. However, I wanted to share this craft that I've created with the inspiration of the colors that you see around fall. This is definitely left up to your interpretation. The canvas is your work board. I just kind of created this and showed you what you can do. However, don't forget you have those beautiful fluorescent orange pumpkins from the Dollar Tree that can be easily sliced in half, painted two different colors. You can do like a dark gray, a light gray, and then like a cream color. Stack them on top of on st stack them on top of one another and even just loose raffi at the bottom. You definitely don't need to follow my step-by-steps -step. this is more just to give you a little bit of inspiration and you can do a little bit more farmhouse you can do shabby chic you can do uh, more modern looking decor but just to suit your home decor definitely I hope this inspires you and that you enjoy this tutorial until the next video everyone have a wonderful day and thank you so very much for watching bye for now I'm using an 8x10 frame that's very flat and easy to manipulate for this DIY. I want to show you um, how to take apart the back for this project. You want to remove all the pieces including the glass frame or the glass panel. And then here I'm just showing you that if you don't have the burlap piece that I have as one, then you have options from the Dollar Tree to just roll some burlap type ribbon down the back of the frame. You just gl glue it down and it would work the same way. To remove these metal pieces, you don't want them to peek through. Just gently maneuver them and they'll just slide right through the little openings of this cardboard. So if you're working with one piece of burlap, make sure you give yourself about two to three centimeter border extra around the frame so this way you have that extra burlap to work with to hot glue and press it down onto the back of the frame when you're working with this do the three sides make sure that you glue everything nice and firmly and then when you have that last final bit that you have to glue down make sure you pull the burlap nice and tight before you flip it onto the back so that you're working with a nice flat front canvas These little finger protectors are found at the Dollar Tree in a three pack. If you don't have the little finger protectors, you can also use a little thimble. They work just as well. It's just to protect your fingers from the, the heat of the hot glue. So this is another option. You can keep the frame the way it is from the Dollar Tree. However, I wanted to make this a lot more bold and rustic looking. So I'm taking the jumbo popsicle sticks and I'm cutting off the, the rounded edges and a nice sharp pair of scissors will do the trick. It's really, really easy to cut through popsicle sticks. I'm using hot glue and then I'm layering two popsicle sticks on each side of the frame. You can do more than two. You can do three or four layers of popsicle sticks. It's completely up to you what look you're looking for. I wanted to have a bit of a bold and heavy look once this was stained, so I stuck to keeping it to only two popsicle sticks per side of the frame. Be sure you have a nice overhang on the back of the frame because I'm going to show you how I'm going to box this off so that it makes it look like it's one nice solid wooden frame. So once you're finished hot gluing this, allow it to sit just to bond for a few, few seconds. I mean it dries pretty quickly, but now you're going to flip it on its back and now you're going to create a box around the side of the frame. So you're going to take your popsicle sticks again, cut off the rounded edges, and then just create a box frame on the outer part of the frame. 
so I applied some hot glue on top of a popsicle stick and then I layered it and then I, I just put a, like a little strip of hot glue along the bottom and that way it held the popsicle stick in place. Also the edges here, what you want to do is just run a nice bead of hot glue along that edge there of the corner and then just fix on another popsicle stick and that's how you work your way around the entire frame until it's all boxed completely. And now the fun part. So I'm using shoe polish from the Dollar Tree. You can definitely use wood stain. You can use paints if you want to paint this. It's completely up to you. However, I'm working with the black, the brown, and the white shoe polish from the Dollar Tree. And it stains the wood so beautifully that you cannot tell it's not wood stain. It just looks so fantastic in real life. I really love how it blended together. And again, I just do a little bit of brown here, a little bit of black here, a little bit of white, and I just blend it in with the brush and then it just works so nicely. If you wanna go back after it's dry, you can, easy to apply more. If you wanna kind of dilute it a little bit, add some of the white shoe polish, make sure you're painting, or I should say staining the entire sides of the popsicle sticks because they are of course a natural color you want to make sure that everything is staying the same color so get the insides the outsides and all the flat surfaces and again the border as well needs to be done the outside of the frame box has to be stained as well and then you are on to do the little craft on the inside the 3d art i call it Once you're happy with the way your frame is stained, then you can put the burlap frame right back into the box. Make sure you secure it back in place because you are going to be creating 3D art on the front. So this is going to be your canvas. One little tip before you stain, make sure that you don't have any hot glue left on the wood pieces. If you do, remove it with a sandpaper remove it with sandpaper or with a nail file because otherwise you it won't stain it won't take the stain and then you'll be left with a bunch of little glue spots or clear spots and it just won't look very nice on your frame if you have missed any little spots you can always do little touch-ups as well with your dabber and it will just fill in any of those little maybe once it dried the wood kind of sucked up a little bit more stain. If you want a little darker, you can just go ahead and restain it. I'm using four of the little Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue them together. Make sure you hold the wood together for a few seconds until it dries just so that everything bonds together. I was inspired by Cher from Crafty Cher Cupcakes. She makes the most beautiful fairy gardens. I absolutely love watching her create the little crafts for it and recently she did an autumn theme one and she made these tiny little hay bales. Oh my gosh they're darling. Um, from using the little cubes from the Dollar Tree and I thought oh my goodness I have some Jenga blocks at home and this is perfect to make this 3d effect for this frame that I had in mind and making little hay bales so thank you to share for this inspiration so I'm gluing some of the raffia pieces I just kind of cut them up into about one and a half inches and then I'm gluing them down all on the front face of the four little pieces of wood along the sides and making it look like this little 3D hay bale <laughs> to put on our picture frame. Well, I don't say it's a picture frame, I guess 3D art. So you're more than welcome to use the large foam pumpkins that are bright orange and then paint them different colors and stack them, you know, with halves glued to this burlap as well. Instead, I'm using these mini pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. They're foam as well, and I'm going to slice it in half here. And I wanted to put one on top of the little hay bale and one on the bottom. I didn't have a stem for the second pumpkin, so it's just a little piece of twig from outside, and I'm just hot gluing it here. So there's a little stem for that pumpkin as well. One's gonna go on the bottom, one's on top of the little hay bale. 
I love the word autumn and I really wanted to write it out with the popsicle stick. So I'm just going to slice the popsicle sticks, really thin pieces of wood. And I just couldn't fit the word autumn on here, especially with the floral. So I had to, I had to say, I will take the word fall. And after a walk in the cornfield, I thought, oh, I'm really inspired to put like more of a cornfield look onto this more wild looking almost and so with some of the floral sprigs from the dollar tree i just cut them with my wire cutters from my jewelry making bead set and that easily cut through the floral wires and then i'm just putting them all down with hot glue fixing them all down to the burlap and then i'm gluing down my little hay bale on the top of them on the bottom so you're not seeing all that plastic and then i'm just hot gluing my little pumpkins right onto the burlap as well and now i'm staining all of the little popsicle stick pieces that i cut to form the word fall and i'm just staining them to kind of match my box frame and then I'm writing them, I'm writing it out and hot gluing the pieces down to the burlap. And that way it's really simple. They just kind of fix right down to the burlap and that's it. I don't have to worry about doing anything else with that. But look how cute this worked. It just, you can see this, the grain in the wood. And who would ever know that you've purchased all these little items at the Dollar Tree? So I wanted it to stand. And because this doesn't have a back, if you have a framed back that you can just kind of pop off another one, then you can just put the little leg on the back here. But I'm improvising, so I'm using three popsicle sticks. You put one straight one along the back, glue it down, and then cut a smaller one, and then another piece that gets cut as well. And basically you're just building yourself like a little triangle. And if you hot glue it and then hold it for a little while, it will solidify and then it will stand nice and and straight and you won't have a problem it won't come undone the only thing is you have to figure out what angle you want your frame to kind of be on display so here it is this is the angle I wanted it I still wanted it to be quite upright I didn't want it to be leaning really back and this is how it works and it goes with all my other little mason jar decor that I made and the little spray painted one in the back and look at the box frame on this isn't this this so so cool i absolutely love it it's matching all my other rustic home decor thingies that i've been making lately i hope you guys enjoyed this diy i really look forward to seeing what you guys create out there because this is quite a a bit of a craft more so than a diy you're open to your interpretation of how you can create this i hope you guys enjoyed until next time everyone have a wonderful day and thank you so very much for watching till next time Bye for now.